Hello children, this is our EVS class. Let's continue our reading of chapter 1. So open your book at page number 12. Children, today we are going to understand about different work we do with our hands, legs and other parts, other body parts. Like we hold anything using our hands. Okay. We use different parts of our body to different activities. Mm. Can you see the picture given here? Can you think of some activities done using legs and hands? Write L in the box for activities you do with your legs and H for activities you do with your hands. So children, look at the pictures. Now you have to write L for the activities you do with your legs and H for the activities you do with your hands. So first one is pulling. You can see pulling. For pulling we use hands. So write here age in the given box. Next running. We use our legs for running. So write here L. Next writing we use our hand. So H. And then jumping. We use our legs when we jump so write here l in this way write h or l for the given pictures below next sense organs sense organs we use some body parts to sense or feel things around us this is why this part these body parts are called sense organs so we have five sense organs these are eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. So we use sense organs to feel things around us. To feel different things around us. We use sense organs. And we have five sense organs. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. Next page. Now, children, look at different activities we do with our sense organs. We see with our eyes. We see with our eyes. We hear with our ears. We smell with our nose. We taste with our tongue. And we feel anything with our skin. Okay. Take the things that you may see around on a rainy day. So children here, look at the pictures. Take the things that you may see around on a rainy day. So what among the pictures can you see on a rainy day? Umbrella, yes, we use umbrella on a rainy day. Take Sun, bright sun, no. On a rainy day, we cannot see bright sun. Instead, the sky remains cloudy. So, cloud. You can tick black cloud. And raindrops, yes, we can see raindrops on a rainy day. And rainbow. Also, we can see a rainbow on a rainy day. Take the things that smell like. So, children, to, uh, to look all these things we need one sense organ that is called our eyes okay we use our eyes to see things around us take the things that smell nice to you so what are the things that smell nice to you flower yes 
डस्टबिन स्मेल ऑफ डस्टबिन नो देन वाश्ड क्लोथ्स यू कैन टेक दिस वन ऑल्सो एंड स्मेल ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फूड येस इट ऑल्सो स्मेल गुड एंड डार्टी क्लोथ्स नो दिस वन इज नॉट गुड टू स्मेल ओके नेक्स्ट नंबर सी in the following so children to smell different uh, <coughs> different thing to uh, to smell we smell with our nose okay we smell with our nose in which uh, in the following pictures take the things that are hot so hot yes this one is hot this one is hot and this one is also hot and the remaining three are not hot so children to feel whether a thing is hot or not we use our skin okay we use our skin next page 14 in the following pictures take the things that make a loud noise which which one <clears throat> which among the following make loud noise yes this can make loud noise bird chirping of bird no flute no this one can make loud noise okay so these are the things children that can make loud noise and to see uh, any kind of sound to listen music we use our ears we use our ears number e in the following pictures take the food items that are sweet in taste so mango is sweet this one is also sweet this one is also sweet this is not sweet okay so to taste anything we use our tongue we use our tongue okay we use our tongue next tick the things you like to do children here you have to tick the things that you like to play you like to eat you like to watch and you like to read so solve the, do this uh, page on your own next just like the favorite food or color of your friend is different from yours we all have different likes and dislikes variety adds beauty to the world so children you, uh, <coughs> <coughs> we like different things okay and <coughs> our choices are maybe different maybe same so this is very common thing and variety adds beauty to the world hobbies the activities which you enjoy doing in your free time are your hobbies drawing reading books and writing poems are some common hobbies so what is your hobby children write in your copy here you can see you have to write about your hobby my hobby is dash what are the hobbies of your parents ask them and write it here so first write about your hobby then ask your parents then ask your parents about their hobbies and write my mother's hobby is this my father's hobby is this okay so in this way complete uh, up to this part uh, write this in your copy and solve this this all this in your book okay so read the chapter again and complete the given work in next class we will complete the exercise part of this chapter thank you